My name is John Frost, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Tenacatita. Tenacatita is a gorgeous bay in the state of Jalisco that has a little town called Rebalcito that is about a kilometer from the beach. Uh, Rebalcito is a town of a few hundred people that makes their living really from having the beach of Tenacatita right there. From the time that there was a path to Tenacatita, the people of Rebelcito have been going to that beach initially just to fish and as more and more tourists came in as the roads started to improve um, they started getting little restaurants and began working with the titles to that land through um, an organization called an ejido. Meanwhile, the governor then decided that he really want, wanted that beach because it is a gorgeous beach and had, uh, had a decree set up that gave him ownership of that land. Well, when he died, that title to the land that was given to him in Tenacatita went to his widow. And his widow could see that basically they didn't have a leg to stand on with that because the people of Rebelcito had been there forever. This was their livelihood. This was their complete life. And they had a whole set of papers that was certified by the government as well that said that they own the land. So this brings it to a point where uh, a successful Guadalajara businessman named Jose Maria Andres Villalobos decides that this would be a good investment for him and buys the land from the widow of the governor for a song. We can't even find out for how much, but it's it it was it was practically given to him. And he goes about then figuring out a way to get rid of this whole village worth of people off of their land. Now, in Mexico, no one can own the actual beach. The beach belongs to the people, the beach belongs to the federal government. And by the beach, I mean 20 meters up from the high tide line. So no one can own the area of the beach that is 20 meters above the tide line and back. However, you can get a concession for uh, the beach. And so this would allow you to say maybe have a restaurant there or something like that. So... Villalobos is a very influential man in Guadalajara. He was the president of the Chamber of Commerce there. He um, is now the president of Guadalajara Expo. And Guadalajara Expo is a huge complex. In fact, that's where they're having the Pan American Games in 2011. Now, he is very good pals with the current governor of Jalisco. And he managed to talk the governor into using state troops or state, poli state police to come in on August 4th and get everybody up from the beach at 3 o'clock in the morning and literally kick them off the beach. And anybody who said anything got smacked and there was tear gas and... There were people arrested, and there were, I mean, they used tear gas and were shooting off their guns. I mean, there, there were like, there were babies affected in this. So they get everybody out, and then take over. They go in there, they start drinking the beer, they start drinking the refrescos, they start uh consuming uh, all the seafood 
they start just making themselves completely at home and trying to provoke the villagers so that they can have a reason for being there. Because according to the governor, this is supposed to be a peacekeeping force, but there's nothing peacekeeping about it. And don't take my word for it. I mean, you can look on YouTube and you don't even have to know Spanish that well. Uh, you just do a search for Tenacatita and Desalojo, uh, which means, you know, to be forcefully removed from something. And you'll see a host of videos um, with um, interviews with people looking very beat up um, that, are, that are telling their story. And there's been a, a really a grave injustice done in Tenacatita. And uh, it's done, really, uh, the, 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 I, I hold the governor uh, completely responsible for this. And there's a, a, a good old boy mentality going on there. And certain politicians are getting more and more and more and more bold taking more and more and more and more of the things that belong to the Mexican people. Now, there were some Americans and some Canadians and, and, and other people who, who lost land there, who thought they had bought property. You know, they paid for it. Uh, they have a, a paper from the governor, I'm, I'm sorry, from the government certifying it. The whole thing. Uh, and now, if Villalobos gets his way, that's absolutely worthless. So there's a group of us that are doing our best for this guy not to get away with this, for these people to not steal that beach. And we'll do whatever, whatever we need to do. Certainly, we're going to keep this alive in the media. So one of the things that we're doing is signing up to a site called Cyber Pueblo. Cyber Pueblo is a site that I created three years ago to reunite Mexicans that were in the States with their families in Mexico. And so in Cyber Pueblo, we have a, a, a letter that we have written to the president of Mexico. And what we would like is for... <clears throat> all kinds of people, uh, whether it's foreigners or Mexican, to either write something, and it can be in English, um, or at least just put their name on this letter. And we have now um, well over 200 comments, and we're hoping for, you know, at least a thousand before we print this thing out. And so we need your help in several ways. We've all gotten together. We've been um, uh, we've been donating money. Uh, we have um, people that we trust that are in Rebelcito, uh, working on feeding the people there that don't have a job now because they were thrown out of their rightful businesses. And so we're trying to feed them and keep them going for as long as it takes. Uh, for this to be resolved. And so um, there's a lot of good news on that front. Um, the Mexicans are extremely, extremely supportive uh, of this venture. I haven't had a single comment uh, in favor of Mr. Villalobos. Um, everybody sees this land grab for what it is, we have politicians in the Senate that have come out and very, very forcefully said that the governor of Jalisco has overstepped his, his authority and that the, pol the state police are there illegally and that Tenacatita needs to be returned to the people. So... It's not, it's not up to me and it's not up to our group to decide who's the rightful owner of the land that is around Tenacatita. That's going to be for the courts to decide. But no matter what happens, Tenacatita 
has to be open to the public. The public of, of, of the world, the public of Mexico, the Canadian, everybody who has enjoyed that beach over the years has to be allowed to go in there and continue to enjoy it, to be able to camp, to be able to and, and enjoy the beach.